multiplying fractions and mixed numbers. So we're going to multiply 6 times 1 fourth. And I know there's parentheses 1 fourth and the 6 right next to it. But this is the same as 6 times 1 fourth. Just another way of showing it. So don't get thrown off when you see that. Um, and so just like when we would add, subtract, or divide anything, we've got our steps. We've got our rules. Step 1, multiply numerators by numerators and denominators by denominators. So basically, um, 6 is a whole number here. And what we're going to want to do real quick is turn it into a fraction. That's not in our steps, but that's something um, you should basically just be doing offhand here. 6 over 1, and then as I set this up, times, and 1 fourth is already set up as a fraction, uh, 1 fourth. And this one's going to be pretty straightforward. Uh, we multiply numerator by numerator, denominator by denominator, and we will get 6 here. 6 times 1 is 6. 1 times 4 is 4. And we actually get an improper fraction. So we look at step two, simplify, answer, or convert to mixed number. Well, if we went back, six-fourths is what we got. And I'll go ahead and write that down here. Six-fourths is an improper fraction. Um, and so we want to turn it to a mixed number. And we always put the numerator. In order to do that, we divide. The numerator goes inside the house here. We divide by the denominator. And here I'm going to make this 6.0 because we're... Um, going to get a whole number with basically a, a value afterwards here. Um, and uh, 4 goes into 6 one time. 4 times 1 is 4. When we subtract, I'll get 6 minus 4 is 2, and then bring down a 0, which is 20. Uh, 4 now goes into 20 evenly. Actually, that's nice. It goes in 5 times. And 4 times 5 is 20, and then 20 minus 20 cancels out. So the answer here is 1.5 equals 1.5 or one and a half. We did regular division here to do 1.5, but that's the same as one and a half. If you simplified this fraction down to three halves because two goes into six three times and two goes into four two times, and then you did the same division, um, you came in here and you did three divided by two, another way you could have done it to make it a little easier. 3 on the inside, 2 on the outside, because that's still an improper fraction. 2 goes into that to 3 one time. 2 times 1 is 2. When you subtract, 3 minus 2 is 1. So the answer here is 1 and 1 half, which is the same as 1.5. And that would be our answer when we multiply, making sure we simplify also. All right, what if we got mixed numbers involved? So always, first step when we have mixed numbers, convert mixed numbers to improper fractions. Always want to do that. So here we go, a denominator times the whole number here. So 2 times 3 would get me a little 6, so I'll just write it down. And then we add uh, plus the numerator, which is 1, 6 plus 1 is 7. So that should get me a numerator of 7 over 3, keep the same denominator. And we're going to multiply that by, sorry, uh, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 here is going to get me 7 again. So I'll get 7 as a numerator here over 2. If I write that a little neater, it should be 7 thirds times 7 halves. All right, so step 2. Multiply numerator by numerator, denominator by denominator. 7 thirds times 7 halves. I got a little bit more space here. Uh, 7 times 7, we get at the top is 49. And then 3 times 2 right here is 6. I just multiplied straight across to get those. Um, and you know we're going to get an improper fraction a lot of the times, which we did. Takes us to step 3. So 49 sixths is what we had. And we need to simplify answer, convert to a mixed number. We're never going to be satisfied at leaving an improper fraction um, as an answer. So we're going to go ahead and turn this into a mixed number. So 49, the numerator goes inside the box. We're going to divide by 6, the denominator. And let's try this out. 6 does not go into 4, but 6 goes into 49. Eh, I think it's 8 times. 6 times 8, I believe, is 48. And when we subtract, if 49 minus 48 or 9 minus 8, either way, I'm going to get 1 here, and that's going to give me an answer. I'm going to stop there. 8 and 1 sixth. So whole number 8 
and then one sixth left over. So when I multiply these together, this is the answer I should get. Apologize for the typo here. This should say step uh, step three, not step one repeated right there. That should be step three. But the steps we want to remember when we are uh, multiplying fractions and mixed numbers.